Sister Rosemary Greco, the director of Wisdom House. This was a monastery at one time. We never had microphones. It was actually a place where we kept silence forever. But this week, these um, few moments now, we're going to be in conversation. Wisdom House has been a center for spiritual renewal, basically focusing on spirituality, education, and the arts. And this has really brought this place to life in our new times uh, in this century. And it's really been a way of enlivening the spirit of so many people, of so many faiths who come here. And so we, get, we really are delighted to have you here today for our Art and Spirituality Forum, which continues in that tradition. To introduce our uh, presenters today, I'm gonna ask Sister Joanne Ayanati to say a few words. Joanne is our Art and Spirituality Coordinator and has done much over the uh, last decades to bring art alive in the center of Wisdom House. And she's right when she says decades. <laughs> mm, would you believe it's been two zero? Bravo. As of this year. But it's been wonderful, as they say, a wonderful ride. <laughs> it's, been, it's been great. And although uh, Rosemary and I are usually um, the, the face of, of Wisdom House, before I even start today, I just want to acknowledge uh, two people who are here, two of three people whom I rely upon greatly in terms of decisions that are made about art in our gallery as well as programs in the arts. And they are Alan Cole Vecchio and Harvey Offenhart. Both, both uh, Harvey and Alan, as well as um, a man by the name of David Scora, have been, uh, our Harvey and Alan have been on the exhibition committee since the gallery was opened in 1994, and David uh, joined us a, a few years ago to be part of our committee. And I can't not say the name of Martha Scott who was an art critic who was part of our exhibition committee for many years and was just a, a wonderful spark of life to, to have among us. So I wanted to say that, that first of all. And then, just in general, art and spirituality have been traveling together at Wisdom House for a long time. And the timeline looks like this. Back in 1993, we started the program The Artist's Way a spiritual path to higher creativity taken from Julia Cameron's book by the same title. And by the time we finished offering that program in different ways, I believe, and maybe Alan could even correct me on this, for about, about eight years on and off in different ways, over 400 artists, local artists, took that program here. So that was a very, very big impetus for us in terms of moving in the direction of, of having an art gallery here. And then in 1994, we did open the Marie Louise Trichet Art Gallery, which is named after the co-founder of the Daughters of Wisdom. And then in 1995, we began a program called Readings in the Gallery, in which we invited local writers to come and to read their works in our gallery. And in 1999, we had our very first Art and Spirituality Forum. And since that time, we have had six forums. And uh, in fact, I believe this is, our, this is our sixth. So as I said, art and spirituality have traveled together at Wisdom House for a long time. Um, as if some of you have been uh, reading the newspapers recently, uh, you've been hearing about nuns. And uh, the nuns being questioned on many things, let's put it that way. Well, there is a nun who is not necessarily of our tradition, the Roman Catholic tradition, but an American Buddhist nun whose writings I have been following for many years and who I think is a woman of great wisdom. And this is what she writes. Her name is Pema Children, and this is what she writes about the spiritual journey. She says, embarking on the spiritual journey is like getting into a very small boat and setting out on the ocean to search for unknown lands. And like all explorers, we are drawn to discover what's waiting out there without knowing yet if we have the courage to face it. Mm -hmm. Small boat being set out on a large ocean. But look at the three things first. Being drawn, being uh, driven basically to discover and having courage tested. But it all starts with getting in that boat. 
<laughs> so, this journey of the spiritual life is the journey of every artist because they too start out on a journey feeling the invitation to be called and then taking those steps. And so the title for this particular Art and Spirituality Forum is The Journey of the Artist. So it all fits together again. And guiding us today on this journey as the, the guide, the facilitator of our conversation is Jack Gilpin. Jack has been with us, oh, I think all of but two times when we had, um, when we had this forum. And we're just so, so grateful that he's willing to be with us. When he stands up in front of you, you will recognize the face. <laughs> he is a man who has acted both off, on Broadway, off Broadway, off, off Broadway for, for many, many years. And he is also has to his credits uh, over 25 feature films, including works on PBS as well as BBC. He has also been a frequent guest star uh, on Law and Order, all three of the series. And in 212, he had roles on 30 Rock and The Good Wife. And his film in, films include 21, Reversal of Fortune, Quiz Show, and his Broadway credit, credits include Beyond Therapy and The Elephant Man. And beyond all this, Jack is a graduate of Harvard, and he has a Master's of Divinity degree from Union Theological Seminary. Can't think of a better combination for a person <laughs> to lead us in this conversation on the journey of the artist. Jack. It's, it's always great to be here. I mean, it's great that these people do this thing here. So it's always, no really, uh, whatever this thing is, we always find out what it is when we're doing it. Uh, I'll, I'll just briefly introduce this incredible group of uh, artists that we have here today. And then, uh, and then get started on some questions, and, and we'll throw it up in the air and see where it comes down. Um, <coughs> right immediately to my left is Joshua Stone, who is a musician and a composer. His uh, music for film and television has been broadcast all over the world. Uh, he has composed and conducted for ensembles from uh, all over the world. He trained at the Manhattan School of Music and with the Boston Symphony Orchestra and with Max Roach, the jazz musician, and with Stephen Sondheim. So you get some idea of how eclectic his, uh, his background is. Uh, he uh, um, is a teaching artist with the Connecticut Commission on Culture and Tourism and offers workshops and performances and residencies from, for students from kindergarten through high school uh, and lives in the second smallest town in Connecticut, which would be Falls Village. Uh, next to him is Linda Hoffman, a nationally recognized sculptor, a graphic artist, a poet, and a student of Zen Buddhism. Uh, she was educated at, uh, at Bryn Mawr in the Japanese No Theater in Kyoto at the Ecole Jacques Lecoq, which is a name I haven't heard in a, in a while, uh, but uh, is uh, quite a badge of honor. Uh, and at La Sorbonne Nouvelle, uh, both of the latter two in Paris. Uh, uh, I hope we'll hear a lot about uh, the, uh, the old Frog Pond Farm where you now live and work and uh, uh, creating sculptures out of the natural objects that are found there. Um, she was a founding editor of uh, Wild Apples, which is a journal of nature, art, and inquiry, and uh, comes at art from a kind of a shotgun perspective, from what, uh, from what I can see. So uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm eager to hear uh, what all, all of you have to say, but, but especially you uh, as well. Uh, Danny Shapiro is uh, the best-selling author of five novels, including about black and white and family history, and the memoirs Slow Devotion and Devotion. Uh, her short stories and essays have been in The New Yorker and Granta, L, O, Oprah Magazine, Vogue. Uh, she's a contributing editor at Travel and Leisure. Uh, she's taught in writing programs at Columbia, uh, Wesleyan, the New School, NYU, uh, and is co-founder of the Siren Land Writers Conference in Positano, Italy, and uh, is uh, an old and dear friend. And Darko Tresniak, uh, on the far end, is presently the this was striking to me, the fifth artistic director in the 49-year history, there have only been five of you, uh, in the, history, uh, the artistic director of the Hartford Stage Company. Uh, Darko was born in Yugoslavia, moved to, came to the United States in 1976, uh, has directed plays and operas all over the country, was uh, artistic director of the Old Globe Shakespeare Festival in San Diego for five years. He was director in residence at the Huntington Theater Company in Boston. 
uh, and has worked at Chicago and LA, and uh, I have worked with Darko and know that he is the director of the very, very first rank. So uh, uh, this is an incredible group of people that we got here.